Today, I want to take you on a journey to the depths of our oceans, to explore the incredible diversity of life that can be found there. The ocean is a vast and mysterious place, covering over 70% of our planet. It is home to some of the most fascinating and unique creatures on Earth, many of which are found nowhere else in the world. The ocean floor is also home to a wide variety of ecosystems and habitats, each with its own unique set of creatures and challenges. Despite its vast size, the ocean is facing numerous threats, many of which are caused by human activity. Pollution, overfishing, and climate change are just some of the factors that are putting the delicate balance of our oceans at risk. As a result, many species are at risk of extinction, and the health of our oceans is being compromised. In this talk, I want to explore the fascinating world of the deep sea, and discuss what we can do to protect it for future generations. Let's start by discussing the incredible diversity of life that can be found in the deep sea. The ocean is home to an estimated 1 million species of plants and animals, and yet we have only identified a small fraction of them. Some of the most iconic creatures of the deep sea are the giant squid, which can grow up to 43 feet in length, and the anglerfish, which uses a bioluminescent lure on its head to attract prey. Other fascinating creatures include deep-sea octopuses, which can change color and shape to blend in with their surroundings, and deep-sea crabs, which have adapted to survive in the extreme environment around hydrothermal vents. Hydrothermal vents are one of the most fascinating features of the deep sea. These vents are found on the ocean floor, where hot water and minerals spew out of the seafloor. The water around these vents can reach temperatures of up to 750 degrees Fahrenheit. And yet a variety of creatures, such as giant tube worms and deep-sea crabs, have adapted to survive in this extreme environment. These creatures have developed unique symbiotic relationships with bacteria, which help them convert the chemicals in the water into food. Another fascinating aspect of the deep sea is bioluminescence. Many creatures in the deep sea have the ability to produce their own light, which they use to attract prey or mates, or to communicate with each other. Bioluminescence is a common adaptation in the deep sea, where little to no sunlight penetrates the water. Some of the most bioluminescent creatures include jellyfish, deep sea shrimp, and lanternfish. But the deep sea is not just home to unusual and fascinating creatures, it also plays a crucial role in maintaining the balance of our planet's ecosystems. The ocean absorbs a significant amount of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, helping to regulate the Earth's climate. It also provides a source of food for millions of people around the world, and supports a vast array of industries, such as tourism, shipping, and energy production. Despite its importance, the deep sea is facing numerous threats, many of which are caused by human activity. Pollution is a major threat to the ocean, with millions of tons of plastic and other debris entering the ocean every year. This pollution can harm or kill marine life, and can also disrupt the balance of marine ecosystems. Overfishing is also a major problem, with many fish populations in danger of collapse. Climate change is perhaps the biggest threat facing the ocean, with rising temperatures and acidification causing widespread damage to marine ecosystems. So, what can we do to help protect the deep sea and its inhabitants? There are several steps we can take as individuals and as a society. One of the most important steps is to reduce our reliance on single-use plastics which are a major source of pollution in the ocean. We can also support sustainable fishing practices, such as choosing seafood that is certified as sustainable by organizations like the Marine Stewardship Council. Additionally, we can reduce our carbon footprint by using renewable energy sources, supporting policies that reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and making lifestyle changes that reduce our impact on the environment. In addition to individual actions, there are also several larger-scale solutions that can help protect the deep sea. For example, we can establish marine protected areas, which limit human activities in certain parts of the ocean in order to protect marine life and ecosystems. These areas can also serve as a buffer against the impacts of climate change, by providing a refuge for species that are struggling to survive in other parts of the ocean. Another important solution is to support scientific research and exploration of the deep sea. By continuing to study and explore the ocean, we can gain a greater understanding of its importance and the threats it faces. This knowledge can then be used to inform policies and management practices that protect the ocean and its inhabitants. 
Finally, we must work to raise awareness about the importance of the deep sea and the threats it faces. By educating the public and policymakers about the value of the ocean, we can build support for policies and practices that protect it. We can also encourage individuals to take action in their own lives to reduce their impact on the ocean. In conclusion, the deep sea is a fascinating and mysterious place, filled with an incredible diversity of life. From giant squid to hydrothermal vent communities, the deep sea is home to some of the most unusual and fascinating creatures on Earth. But the deep sea is not just a playground for exploration, it is a crucial part of our planet's ecosystem, and we must do everything we can to protect it. By taking action to reduce our impact on the ocean, supporting organizations that are working to protect it, and continuing to study and explore it, we can ensure that the deep sea remains a vital and vibrant part of our planet for generations to come.